Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to The Long Dark. We are continuing where we left off. Let me just set my timer real quick. Because once again, I forgot to do that. There we go. And it is still storming outside. Uh, we've got eight hours of daylight. Um, and I believe the additional shoes were where we did. Which shoes was I trying to save? Don't leg on me, please. Thank you. Um, have these. Yeah, the, these. Okay. Those are the ones I want to save, so. Let's harvest that. And, oh, wait. I don't hear the wind anymore. So, let's go ahead and head out. Uh, apologies if you catch a little bit of wind. I have moved uh, my air conditioner a bit to A, keep my room cool, and B, uh, just kind of keep myself, whoops, keep myself cool. I keep thinking there's a jump button. There's not a jump button. I think there used to be one at one point. But there is not. Um, let's see. Got them ported up. Okay. Except for when they're in flocks like that, crows are always a good thing. Oh, hello. Uh, because that usually means there's a body nearby. And when there's a body, there is stuff you can get. Or at least a chance of stuff you can get. And if it's a deer carcass, there's food and hide and. All that goodness. Like those crows over there. So we're gonna go ahead and raid this corpse even though I'm already chock full of supplies. That's a, that's a fishing thing. Okay. Sometimes the really distant shadows will be confusing. Alright, well I have a hatchet. Can I get any of this? How long will that take? Oh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and... Yeah, see, I'm nice and warm. Not having to worry about too much. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Can I? I can't. Let's go for it. Now, the deer hide uh, is going to take... Woo, there goes the... You'll, you'll notice the question marks up there. Uh, <laughs> that means the weather is so bad that I can't tell the time. Um... Okay, cat, I need you to move. Keep moving, thank you. Um, but yeah, the uh, hide in the gut can be cured over a period of days, and yes, that is days, uh, and that can be used for other tools. Uh, for example, I need, I believe, two deer hide for the deerskin boots and three for the deerskin pants. Um, and then, of course, I'll need some gut for that as well. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, I want to get back to my base. Because I can come and raid this trailer later. How much overweight am I? Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of heavy. Oh well, we will tough it out because that is what you do in a survival game, is you tough things out. <laughs> Thankfully I am familiar enough with this map to uh, be able to get around. Um, I wound up exploring a lot of this map the first time that I played that I played on it. Uh, at first it was just a matter of let's find shelter and then when I found that one uh, gas station I was like this is gonna be my base every time because it has everything. <laughs> well almost everything but it has everything that I need for uh, to, to get me to get me good and started and on solid ground with surviving. And I like the fact that I can walk on the roads and actually get somewhere, whereas in the snow it feels like it always takes forever. Uh, and I have a cat in my lap who's trying to take over. Well, you just can't see a thing right now. Uh, I think we had approximately seven hours of daylight after I uh, harvested the shoes. 
And that took a little more than an hour with the deer, so maybe we have five hours of daylight left? That's guessing, because it's not going to tell me right now. I usually don't let myself sit in the uh, in the red like this for too long, just because I like to keep healthy in case something happens, like a bear or a wolf. But I'm taking the risk right now because I've noticed a significant lack of wolves in my area. And normally, normally that that gas station has at least about two wolves constantly hovering around it, and two more that sometimes show up. Now, if I can get a hunting knife, then. Uh, That'll change the game up a bit. Oh, I do believe I just heard a wolf out. Yeah, I think that was a wolf out. So we are definitely going back to base now. Um, you can take shelter in cars. When animals attack, they will just suddenly accept that they can't get you even though, you know, most of us know that bears can in fact get inside of cars. Uh, thankfully the bears are a bit more rare. Uh, but the wolves are stubborn. Wolves are very stubborn. Now one thing that they did add to the game recently that I like is the ability to drop uh, bait. So like if a wolf is coming at me and he hasn't started charging yet, I can just drop a random item of food and back away and he'll go for the food before he goes for me and that gives me the chance to get out of dodge. I want to be careful because sometimes, sometimes there's a bear over here instead of wolves. I remember reading in uh, some of the upcoming patch notes for this game that they're eventually going to add cougars as well. And on the one hand, me being a big cat lover, I'm like, oh, that's cool! But as the survival thing goes, I'm like, oh, that's bad. Ah, oh, see, there's a wolf. Oh, he's seen me. No. Nope. Nope. Oh, there's the other wolf. Back door, back door, back door, back door. Nope. Front door, front door, front door. <laughs> front door. Front door. Front door. In the door. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Okay then, so we're good now. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's set the let's start with deer hide and the gut and stuff I get from the same carcass I like to drop in the same area, and that's actually going to take about four to five uh, days in game. Um, let's go ahead and take care of my needs. Drink. Give me that peanut butter. Peanut butter should probably make you thirsty again. In fact, peanut butter really should make you thirsty again. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get this going. Oh, 86, 91. That's even better. Will it work? That's the question. about this. This one looks like it might not work. Come on. Come on. I, I don't think it's going to work. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay, good, good. So now I will add some fuel and we will cook some food. That's another thing they're going to be uh, changing uh, Soon, which will take uh, out, which will take uh, some getting used to on my part is uh, eventually cooking won't be sped up. It'll take place in uh, real time so that you can multitask. And while I certainly have no objections to multitasking, I'm also kind of like, um, but I like the ability to just kind of cook my food and you know have it be done. All right, is there anything else? I thought I had more venison than that. Did, did I misjudge? I, mis I misjudge. Oh well. That is that's okay. Um what can I what can I do in the meantime? Yeah. 
gonna boil water. I'm not gonna boil water. Um, let's speed this up. Use my hatchet to open it. You can actually technically open up the cans by smashing them, but you lose contents when you do that. So it's always good to have some kind of a uh, some kind of a tool to open them with. Alright, so now that I've started to do things for this drawer, this is, let's see. Right. First, let's see if there's anything that's going to go in the crafting drawer. Um, come on, come on. These two things. Uh, two of that cloth, because it's always good to have at least some of it on you. I uh, put clothes down here. Those, yeah, those are basic boots. Anyway, I'll put my insulated boots in there. I'm going to put all the extra clothes in here for right now so that I can figure out what I actually want to wear and fix things up later. Uh, and then I'll start storing the food in here. Let's store all the higher value stuff first. I'll start with the cans because the cans are... Cans are heavier. And I'll keep I definitely definitely want to I definitely want to keep some coffee in here because I don't need to carry around all this coffee. I don't need to carry around all this tea. One thing of co the the five things of coffee should be good. Okay, that takes care of that. Uh, tools. Let's put tools. Let's 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 go to the other toolbox and put tools here. Uh, if you can't see, there is a toolbox over here. I just haven't rated it yet. Um, is that the top of it? I think that's the top of it. And yet another pry bar. And yet another hatchet. Well, good, both good things, but not quite what I was after. <laughs> okay, so... Put this one in here. And that one in there. And that one in there. And since I don't have enough use for this yet, I'll keep it there. But eventually I might sharpen my hatchet. Um, I know I had another tool, uh, another sewing kit somewhere. I don't remember where I put it. And then I usually like to keep my fire-related stuff near the fire barrel, so I'll search this cabinet. All right, and uh, let's, let's put my accelerant in there. Keep one of those for emergencies. Um, firewood. Here we go. Uh, let's keep the book in here, and those two things in there since I have the coffee, and at least one stick. Uh, what else? Oh, that is, that is time, so I will see you in the next video.